At Montgomery Blair High School, there are around 3,000 students. Of those, around 400 are enrolled in the ESOL, or English for Speakers of Other Languages program. Unfortunately, there seems to be divide in and out of the classroom between ESOL students and other students at Blair. To investigate this divide at Blair, we asked students if they knew anyone in the ESOL program. Do you know any students in the ESOL program? Uh, kind of. I don't think I do, no. 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 Yes, I do. We're not friends I know, but I know of kids. Uh, no, uh, not personally. Not, yeah, not uh, not right now. Uh, no, not really, nah. There is an evident divide between students in the ESOL program and other students at Blair. We wanted to find out why that is. Um, well, ESOL students are obviously the newcomers. Um, so they are the ones that are, uh, the burden of assimilation is on them. It's difficult to come somewhere new and totally, totally not have any of your culture around or anything that you do around you. In general, the American culture is not very welcoming to outcome, outsiders. When there's not much, inter no interaction, it really hurts the ability to feel a part of the community. They come feeling different and a separation between the community and them uh, sort of keeps them feeling different. If there was an ability to have a little bit more communication, then you would see some of those things change. Three years and a half, taking the taking ESOL. I had many friends from different countries that had, they had, they're having the same situation as I, as I, uh, as I had been through. So we kind of shared our experience with each other and then we kind of motivated ourselves to keep going forward. The ESOL program provides a structure for students who speak another language to develop a community with shared language and cultural backgrounds. However, this separation limits cultural exposure for both students in the ESOL program and those in the larger Blair community. Fortunately, many organizations within Blair are working to break down these barriers to communication and integration. One Blair is a social justice coalition um, that we started for Blazers who want to get involved in um, struggles, that, struggles that are seen at Blair and throughout our community. I am the uh, basically staff sponsor of One Blair and um, come up with a lot of the ideas for what we might want to work on. And so uh, one day for lunch during our Wednesday dialogues, Ms. Gill brought her sixth period class, which was an ESOL 5 class. Um, and some of the things that came out of that were really just phenomenal. Um, and and it, was, it was really interesting to see everybody kind of engage with people that they hadn't ever talked to and, and some of the, you know, one of the Esau kids was very honest, he said, I don't really prefer to hang around white people because I get the feeling white people would rather not hang around me. The white people I know just because I joined a, a baseball team, like, you, most of the people I know just be, the white people just because I joined a team, that's the only way I know it because if I didn't join baseball, I wouldn't be talking about it. Unless you provide the opportunity and, and the space and the incentive, for people to get together and really dialogue uh, from different perspectives. I don't know if it's a natural thing. I don't know that they naturally will do that. There's a couple other organizations that we're looking to work with in the school too. Um, one of the security guards, I think is Mr. Hernandez, is, is doing Blazer to Blazer, and we've got uh, Bliss Buddies, and, and so we've got um, a number of things. So Blazers to Blazers is a new program that um, Carlos came to me um, about, and it's pretty much a super intensive um, mentoring program for both students and their families um, and when I say students I mean ESOL students newly arrived immigrants and who are extremely vulnerable um, who don't have a community that's the only way we can move forward is by taking that step and starting a dialogue and starting friendships and starting a community. I teach career development and run an internship program in addition to Bliss, which is Blair Leaders Intern for Student Success, um, which is a program where we get students who are doing very well in particular subjects and we place them in classrooms with um, teachers who have maybe struggling students in certain subjects and help have them tutor. I used to only talk to, talk to the people who I <laughs> knew or who talk who speak the same language because when I came here I 
didn't really feel comfortable. As long as we try to make it as much of a community effort as possible, then I think we can see some growth and development among all our programs, but especially East. While these programs are focused on supporting marginalized students and those in the ESOL program, the larger Blair population has much to gain from participating in these dialogues and organizations. They can understand struggle. They can understand uh, what it's like to not be part of the majority culture. They can, they can understand, um, maybe get a little bit more understanding of their own privilege. And when you, when you see that other people don't have that. Um, it allows them to see things from a different perspective. I also think there's just value in, in having friends and, and relationships with, with various people, right? So that you kind of bust out of um, this, this monolithic bubble where a lot of people, if they don't believe exactly the same thing, that they, they share similarities. When you're at this age, it's easier for you to kind of step into a different realm, grab a friend, and kind of go into something um, that's different from your norm. If we don't um, talk to each other, if we don't learn about different like types of people, then there, this is how bias and um, misinformation comes. And with that bias and misinformation, there could be so many things that we could be blaming on each other, we could be thinking about each other that isn't just true. So having these friendships and talking to people can solve so many issues at Blair.